Isamas, this is your host Tivikran Ravala here. Today we're going to learn a little bit about the tablet pages on the Android. As you guys already know, the Android displays the tabs on the top of the top of the page, but with the help of the platform specifics from Xamarin Forms, you can actually display them at the bottom as well. For this to do, we need to update all our NuGet packages and make sure that they are all are up to date. And after the update happens, make sure that you are actually restarting the Visual Studio as well. Once these are all up to date, and then we can go to the, the main page. And as you know, as you can see, the packages are updated now. We have to change this to a tab page. Let's convert that to a tab page. And as you know, that it, it, it should require the content pages. So we're going to start typing in content pages. And we're going to create three of them. So I, I will be looking at uh, placing the label of text. I'm going to call this as home and the title. Uh, so the, I'm going to, I want this to be placed vertically at the center and also horizontally at the center. And let's finish this. And I want to call this content page title to be set to home as well. And let's give it some background color. Uh, background color, let's it be teal and let's copy paste the whole thing and let's change its names only okay and now let's call this as search and this change this to search as well and this would be about and this going to be an about and let's give a different color background color and I want to call it as gray and change this to some purple. And now the most important thing, go back to your class code behind file and change this to tab page. But there is a little bit of trick here and I'll, I want to show you what exactly it is. So let's continue typing. And uh, every control element uh, has the, the, on L, uh, the on attribute like that, probably like that. So it's going to be like something like on and you're going to actually do something like that and say Android, which means that we are actually targeting only Android only and for any other platforms, it will not apply these changes. So all I'm going to do is change, and now you have to say something like uh, toolbar, sorry, dot set toolbar placement and then toolbar placement dot bottom which means it's going to display the toolbar at the bottom now click resolve this and it has to be the android specifics only not windows so make sure that it is android specific and make sure this are actually used here and now everything looks fine, but now our tablet page is breaking. So it's saying that amb ambiguous references. So basically, all it's saying is like there is a tablet page inside uh, inside the Android specifics as well. So if you type in something like this, you'll find. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So let's stop typing in Xamarin dot forms dot platform configuration dot Android and dot tabbed page. So basically that's what uh, you are having a duplicate references here. So all you need to do is like go back down here and say xamarin.forms dot tab page. So which means it's actually referring to the tab page now, which is xamarin tab page. And now quickly rebuild the project and see if that loads into the emulator. In the meantime, I'll show you my emulator. Let it finish loading building okay it's still building just wait for it okay let's load this one now so it should be pretty quick As you can see, it is now showing the tabs at the bottom. 
and as you can see you can also swipe between the tabs too and if just for your references if I comment of this particular line it will if you re reload that into emulator now the tabs are going to be displaying at the top of the page and let's see how it's going to look like which you guys already know and yeah and let's put that back and load it again there you go it's at the bottom now okay thanks guys thanks guys for watching this video and hopefully this is helpful to you i will see you next time